In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some amazing autumnal harvest themed, Halloween -y themed decor pieces from HomeSense. I'm so, so excited to show you these pieces, so let's just get right on into it. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. I hope you're well. So there is this feeling in the air. I'm sure you've already felt it. There is just this autumnally feel. There's a sort of crispness. There's that sort of smoky smell in the mornings and the leaves are starting to fall as well here where I am in England, in Devon, and it's just starting to feel really, really magical. I'm filming this relatively early in August and my birthday actually falls at the start of August and I was reflecting that as a child I always thought that August was still summer because it still felt quite hot and the school holidays, etc. But honestly, I really do think, especially now, it's so much more clear to me how autumn and fall really starts in August and I really start to feel that like need for it. And I know I'm not alone, I know lots and lots of people absolutely love autumn and fall and just crave the sort of crisp coolness and the smoky fragrance and the crunching of the autumn leaves and the decor, the pumpkins, like pumpkin spice lattes, all of that stuff. like cozy fireside evenings and candlelight and it's just yeah so cozy and I've always loved that I've always loved the idea of like roasting marshmallows on a fire and we have a wood burner here in this house and our new house isn't going to have a wood burner so I'm kind of going to miss that I think but yeah just things like that I just absolutely love and I'm so so ready for autumn right now to start. I thought I would head to HomeSense and pick up some decor because last year really wasn't very good at all for the decor and it was partially due to COVID I think, like the deliveries didn't arrive and it was just a little bit difficult to get hold of anything and I remember trying to hunt things down and being told, you know, in the middle of August that things had already gone because those things arrived at the end of July and I was just kind of like, whoa, this is yeah, intense, because it's all just gone. But I remember in previous years, I did pick up some good things. I tend to have some pumpkins out all year because I love them. This is a pumpkin that I have out in my office space all the time because I think it's so pretty. It's like a Cinderella pumpkin. And I picked this up from HomeSense two years ago. I love that you can just pull out the stuff that you've picked up in previous years as well. I also have this little skull, which I absolutely love, which stays out as well, because I'm kind of, I just like the aesthetic. I don't go in for all the orange so much, but this is just exactly the kind of thing I love to have. I have some pumpkin lights up there, and those were from Poundland last year. I also picked up a witch's broom last year from Home Bargains, and I actually painted this as well, sort of DIY'd it and it's so, so cute. This is a candle that was from TK Maxx, I believe. I didn't burn it last year, so I'm gonna burn it this year. It says, eat and can be scary. Eek. And this is my favorite pumpkin, and this was from Amazon, I believe, and it's just so, so beautiful. So I had this out on the fireplace last year, and it was just, yeah, amazing. I love it. So obviously, if you've picked things up in previous years, get them out, don't forget about them, because you can add to your kind of layout and your table settings, etc., wherever you've got things, with the previous stuff that you picked up as well as stuff you pick up this year. But if you don't have anything, then these are some ideas of where you can go. Home Bargains, Poundland, definitely Amazon have some beautiful bits, as well as TK Maxx and HomeSense. So there's loads and loads of places that you can get some amazing fall decor. And I know that it's not quite as good as in the USA, but it's still, it's gonna be good this year. I can feel it as well. I can feel there's gonna be more. I think there's gonna be more. I think there's gonna be more. So without further ado, I'll just show you what's in store right now. So right at the front of the store, there were lots and lots of Halloween pieces. And there were some autumnally bits, but the majority of it was Halloween-y. And some of the things were so funny and cute. A lot of these I don't think I've got the space for or the need for any of them, but some of these things did catch my eye especially for the kids and I know that Rosalie found some of these things really cute I thought this bear door stopper was really really adorable and these little skull candle holders So there weren't that many pumpkins, there was this little pumpkin and there were a couple of others. There were lots of woodland creatures as you can see and some cute ornaments and plates. So 
So I thought this pumpkin was quite cute. And I also really like the look of this pear ornament as well. And Rosalie really liked the little animals, the squirrels. And I thought that this gold plate was really, really pretty, sort of leaf plate to use as an ornament. And there were some more pumpkins that were sort of Halloween-y themed rather than like ornamental. And some bigger decorations if you were going to do like a party. I really like crows, so I actually really liked this little candle holder. The selection of faux plants and faux flowers was really good as well, but everything did look quite summery, so I'm not sure if everything had come in by this point. I think I probably will take another trip to HomeSense within the next few weeks to see if they get any more kind of floral arrangements or anything. The eucalyptus was very pretty though. But this lavender I thought looked quite summery. They had a really good selection of pots and planters. They had some really, really cute neutral toned cushions as well as some autumnally and Halloween-y themed cushions, which I really loved. This Wheel of Fortune pillow was really cute and I thought it'd be really fun for like a party. And then they had these skull cushions as well, lots of different styles. And then the black cushions were really pretty as well. I really quite liked these grey and white tonal blankets with the skulls. And this hay pumpkin cushion as well. They had some really gorgeous ornaments and trays. I really, really liked this candelabra. It was very heavy though, and I wasn't sure I'd get it home in one piece. Rosalie was really intrigued by the globes. And I've seen these plates before. I thought they were quite pretty. And the vases were lovely as well. The candle selection was pretty epic, I must admit. There were a lot of candles. Some were more summery, but there was a lot of autumnal themed candles and there were some brilliant halloween -y candles. There were some skull candles, some pumpkin candles, some really pretty like oud candles, and then lots of pumpkin candles as well. And really, there is so much choice. I really, really liked quite a few of these candles and I found it hard to choose, but in the end, I did find one that I was really happy with. I really liked these little pumpkin candles and these came in a set of black candles as well. I thought they were so cute. I do love the more minimal looking candles though. Oh, and they had white ones. I forgot about those, they were gorgeous. So Sand and Fog are like my favourite brand, but these candles, oh my gosh, these were Martha Stewart pumpkin candles and they smelled so good. 
I just fell in love with these floor mats. They were so, so cute and so kitsch and Halloween-y. I loved them. But this one was my absolute favorite. Oh my goodness, I love this. They had some really cute Deo de los Muertos, Day of the Dead mugs, as well as some like Halloweeny mugs as well. They were sort of scattered in and amongst the normal mugs. And I liked them, but none of them really caught my eye that much. I think some of the plainer mugs were more my style. But there were some really pretty ones. These ones with the cats and the dogs and the witch's boots. But as you can see, I was just absolutely wowed by everything. There were so many beautiful things. I wanted to get so many things, but we are limited to space. We're moving house and we don't want things to be breaking in the move. So I tried to be as conservative as possible this year, but I did want to show you. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing the footage and it's giving you an idea of like what might be in your local home sense. This is the home sense that's in Devon. It's not the biggest, but it had some nice things. We also have a TK Maxx near us, so I might be popping in there to see what they've got as well. So let me just show you the bits that I did pick up. First up, of course, I made a beeline for the pumpkins and the harvest collection, and there were some beautiful little animals which you saw, and I had to pick up this pumpkin. This is so Cinderella-like, I just fell in love with it. It's quite similar to the pumpkin I picked up a few years ago, but this one's sort of more iridescent. This one came with like a fragrance in it. It didn't smell very nice, it was like an apple fragranced sachet, and so I took that out and just disposed of that. And, but the ornament is so, so pretty. You could put one of those faux tea lights actually underneath, a little one, because it's not a big space, but you could probably do that and have it light up. I just leave it the way it is. But this one actually does light up. So I don't know if you can see with the lights on, but it lights up and it's so, so pretty that it's just gonna be so gorgeous on the fireplace or on the mantelpiece or something. So yeah, I'm just in love with this, it's so, so pretty. And I love like the white pumpkins and the cream pumpkins that sort of more neutral autumnal aesthetic is very me like the browns, the beiges, the golds, the whites, the neutral tones. I do love a little bit of the orange, like a splash here and there, but not like tons of it. So this is totally me. So this pumpkin was 4 99 so like amazing value, especially because it lights up, love it. <laughs> I always love the look of the planters and the garden equipment, but I never end up getting them because I always think I can't lift them. But I was looking for a pot. I didn't quite find one that I was like in love with, so I left the pot, but I did pick up a little watering can. And this is because I keep some herbs and such inside and some little plants, and Rosalie has some little plants inside as well. We have a watering can for outdoors, but I just thought it'd be quite nice to have a little watering can for inside, one that Rosalie can use one that I can use one that's not too big but one that also looks like really stylish and pretty and they had these in kind of golds as well I just really liked how minimal and sort of classic compared back the black was so this is the handcrafted in India collection and this was $7.99 which I thought was actually a really really good value for what it is and I'm like gonna style this up in the kitchen as well so like it's sort of out and I'm easily able and reminded to you know water the house plants this is so so pretty and yeah had to have this Next up, I picked up a photo frame. I needed another photo frame for some family pictures. This one is by Isaac Jacobs and they had a number of different styles. I like this because it's kind of got this sort of retro aged effect to it. I really like photo frames that kind of had that look. And I just thought the quality of it was really, really good. It was 5 99 so really, really good value and a four inch by six inch, so sort of standard photograph. So I'm really, really happy with this. This is just going to be perfect for the photograph I've got in mind. So I thought this is so, so pretty. Then I found myself in the candle collection and it was just a little bit intense. All the candles looked so, so pretty. They didn't all smell that nice. I often find I've got to smell quite a few, but then I get quite confused. There was that one candle that just wowed me and it was a Martha Stewart candle and I kind of regret not getting it. But I was just thinking it's going to break in the move. But basically it was this big, beautiful pumpkin shaped white ceramic 
pot with a lid and it had a huge candle inside with maybe three or four wicks in it and it, as I said it was a Martha Stewart and it was £24 so I was like that's quite an investment for a candle but obviously having so many wicks it would take a while to burn, burn throughout the season and obviously you could reuse the pot and I just fell in love with it but I just thought it's so gonna break knowing that we're moving anytime soon so I left that one but I really my heart is still like thinking about that <laughs> that candle so if I go back after we've moved and it's there I'm so picking one up because oh my goodness that candle and it smelled really good as well oftentimes I'll love the look of a candle at home sense and then I'll smell it and I'll ugh no not for me but my favorite candles from home sense tend to be the sand and fog and this is the one i picked up so there were a few that i was looking at some of the slightly smaller ones but i went for this one in the end because it has this beautiful family print on top and these beautiful leaves this is pumpkin harvest and it smells incredible mm, oh my goodness it is just gorgeous it's a three wick and it's a soy wax blend which I love because obviously then you don't have the toxic fumes etc. And I just love this brand of candle and I've had these for years from HomeSense and they are just my favourite. And yeah, this does smell incredible. And actually what's great about this pumpkin harvest is it actually smells really Christmassy as well. So even though the top is kind of fall-like, I think it would still fit in really, really beautifully. And the candle itself is like really neutral. So I think this is definitely gonna go on like the fireplace or well, when we move, I don't know where it's gonna go. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I just love this. I love the way it looks, I love the smell of it, and this one was $12.99, so slightly more expensive. I know the slightly smaller ones with two wicks are more like $7.99, which is really good value, but I just love the smell of this one. I love the size of it. This is gonna be fantastic for the season. I'm just, oh. I should have got more candles, but I, I'm kind of obsessed with candles. I've still got this one from last year, Eat, Drink and Be Scary. So this one is a similar fragrance, pumpkin-y one, and yeah, white pumpkin, and this one's so lush. So I'm gonna probably burn this around Halloween. It's just gorgeous. So had to have this, love it. Then I was in the soft furnishings area and some of the cushions were so cute. I looked at some of the skull ones, but I thought, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna want to have those out all year. And I'm kind of one of those people that if I fall in love with something, I do kind of want it out all year. This is why I currently have some pumpkins up here from last year because they've been out all year. And I know some people might be like, oh, why would you leave that out all year? But I love pumpkins <laughs> and I genuinely love autumn and I genuinely love like Halloween. And that is like what my soul craves like all year round. So I just leave them out because they represent part of my soul. So my heart wasn't set on like getting a pillow or a cushion or anything. But when I saw this cushion, I knew I had to have it. And it's just so beautiful. It's this like beautiful sort of sage green velvet. And I don't really have any of this color, but I know it's so popular at the moment. And then you've got these beautiful like white pumpkins that are beaded and decorated with these beautiful like metallic beads and wool. And I just thought, this is just one of those show-stopping cushions. And I thought I could put this on the bed or on the sofa, I didn't know. I actually wanted to get two, <laughs> but I knew my hubby would just think I was insane. So I just got the one, but I am in love with it. And we don't really have any sage around the house, but the house is very neutral. We've got like a lot of gray, a lot of like antique wood like this, and a lot of neutral shades, cream and white and beige and such. So I knew that this color would go nicely. So this is just gonna be fantastic. I think at first I'm gonna put it on the bed, see how that looks, and maybe I'll put a cutaway so you can see, and then maybe I'll style it up the sofa as well. But I think it, it fits really nicely for the bed because of the shape of it, but I just love it. I love it so, so much. And I am one of those people who grew up, my parents, always had a Christmas cushion. And it wasn't like just a plaid Christmas cushion or a Christmas cushion with Santa Claus on it. It was this beautiful Christmas cushion that was so vintage and kitsch and it has a Victorian illustration of a family around a Victorian Christmas tree with like real candles on it. And it is so Christmassy. It is literally like the quintessential Christmas for me. I just loved the kitscheliness of it. And every year it came out, it was only out at Christmas and the smell of it, it always smelled like cinnamon sticks and oranges and cloves. And it had this like sweet fragrance of Christmas. And I just loved that cushion. So I know for me having a cushion for my favorite time of year is just going to always be something I love. So I could not resist this. And it wasn't too expensive. It was 19.99, which I think considering the quality of it 
and the shape of it, the size of it, is actually really, really good. And also because I love it so much, I think this is definitely worth it. I know a lot of the other cushions weren't as much, but I actually think this is a better quality cushion because it's actually got a pillow inside it. Whereas some of the other ones are quite like just sort of foamy on the inside and they don't really feel like that good quality, but this is just definitely something else. So I'm so, so in love with this pillow and I cannot wait to have it out and just enjoy it all season. <laughs> so then I was in the kitchen section and I decided to pick up a board, a chopping board. Obviously I love the way this looks. This is one of the uniquely crafted by Artisans in India collection and it was only 6 99 and they had similar sized boards that were like this that were like double the price and I wasn't really sure why. This wasn't on clearance or anything, although they did have a few like this in the clearance. I was looking for one that was kind of leaf shaped or something for autumn, but you know, this is just beautiful. I love the wood, I think the wood screams to me of like autumn and I love cooking with boards like this. We currently needed a new chopping board anyway, we're moving and I really wanted to have like a few chopping boards like up in our new kitchen you know because they can look so pretty either out with stuff on them or up so you know you can just grab them easily and they look so so beautiful and obviously they have great functionality as well so I just knew that this is one that I wanted to get obviously before I use it I'm going to give it a wash and also I like to use some olive oil to season my wood boards just to keep them from like going rotten and such I just might do some research in how like how best to take care of this particular one there's nothing on here so I might look it up online and see if there's any particular instructions or maybe just follow what's online but I want to take care of it because it's so pretty and yeah I want the kitchen to look really really nice when we move into the new house so I yeah, I'm really excited about this. So next up, I picked up a gorgeous new pestle and mortar. I do have a pestle and mortar, and it's one of those smaller cream sort of ceramic -y ones, but I wanted one that was more like marble, and this is natural marble, and it's in the white. I'm gonna take it out so you can see it. No, I can't actually get it out. So here we go. There's just some plastic in there. So obviously this will need a bit of a wash up, but I just love the weight of this. I love the color, it's just gorgeous. I was also looking to get a gray one, but I think the gray was just not the right shade of gray for me. So I went with this one instead because I knew I'd like this. This is hand wash only, so no dishwasher, but that's fine. I mean, but I really love the, the way with the stone, you can just get the grind. So yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about, but yeah, this is going to be perfect for the kitchen and grinding up herbs and spices and such, so just really into this. And it's actually kind of therapeutic. So this was $12.99. These kind of pieces do make me a bit nervous with the kits because they're so heavy, but I do have a marble chopping board I got years ago from Dunelm, and I have that in the bedroom, and I use it to put candles on and to put like facial oils and stuff on, and it never moves, so it's never really been an issue. I think as long as this is like far enough away from the kids so they don't reach for it then it's fine it's just me and my mum brain I get like really anxious about that kind of thing but this is just a beautiful piece so very happy we've got this and finally I think my absolute favourite piece has to be this item and when I saw it I just had to have it it was like no question uh, and I'm gonna have it out all year as well so don't judge me but it's this gorgeous mat and it says witches gather here and it's so witchy, it's got the bat. I thought because we're moving, we need a new doormat anyway. We have one which has Pusheen on it because I love Pusheen, but it did get like a bit beaten up and I wanted something that was gonna be bigger for our new place and I just think this is just so, so cute. I love it. And um, this was $7.99. Obviously, if you wanted something like this, you could just have it for autumn and fall, but I will be having it all year round because it's just totally me. It's so, so cute. And they also had like, ones with skulls and bats and such and more Halloweeny ones but I just love the simplicity of this and yeah I think it says it all. <laughs> so that brings me to the end of my little home sense haul. I really really hope that you enjoyed seeing these pieces and if there's anything here that you'd like to get your hands on I hope that you're able to find that or something similar at your local home sense or your local TK Maxx. Remember Home Sense is part of the TK Maxx group or the TJ Maxx group, I think one and the same. So you're likely to find similar items at the TK Maxx if there's not a Home Sense near you. I know there are less Home Senses than there are TK Maxxes. So I definitely want to go to the TK Maxx and I'd really like to go back to the Home Sense again. And if I do, I will definitely 
film a bit and show you what I get if I get anything. Obviously, again, with the move happening, you know, I can't buy certain things or too many of certain things, but it's still fun and I absolutely love full decor. And of course, you can pick things up from different places as well. So definitely shop around because you can get some amazing bargains from Poundland, Home Bargains, TK Maxx and HomeSense. And also as well, I think the supermarkets are getting really, really good at stocking little things like Aldi always have amazing seasonal bits and so does Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's decor is actually like really lovely, like some of their candles are just gorgeous. So do take a look when you're doing your food shop and stuff. You'd be surprised actually like how many amazing things you can pick up. And of course on Amazon there are some amazing pieces as well. I've actually got my eye on a wreath from Amazon that I'd like to pick up before we move into a new house. So I'm probably gonna do that soon. But anyway, I've had so much fun sharing these pieces with you. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you enjoyed seeing some of the footage of the store and hopefully you have a home sense or a TK Maxx near you so you can go and pick up some bits if you liked these. Hopefully you can find something similar if not exactly these. If you did enjoy the video please do like the video and share it with anyone who you think would also enjoy it. Someone else who is just as enthusiastic about autumn or fall. And if you'd like to see more from me around home and fashion, beauty, lifestyle, then please do think about subscribing. And by subscribing, don't forget to hit that little bell notification because that's how YouTube is going to let you know when I create and upload videos like this. So with all that said, thank you again so much for joining me. I hope you stay well and safe and I look forward to seeing you again in another video really soon. Take care. Bye. Mwah.